In another video I talked about different types of cooling you can combine with uh, solar concentrators and one of them was steam jet cooling and I didn't really understand it so here's a video explaining the technology. Uh, steam jet cooling uh, uses uh, the process of uh, or it tries to uh, create a va vacuum by high pressure uh, steam ejection from a nozzle. So here we have the nozzle it uh, ejects uh, steam into uh, some output uh, tube and by doing that it, it lowers the pressure in the, in the chamber uh, which is a chamber above uh, the cooling fluent in this case it or in, in most cases it can be water it works almost the same as uh, an uh, airbrush paint uh, thing where you have the little uh, container of paint uh, and you blow uh, high pressure air over it and it carries the paint so because of the, the high speed steam ejection from the nozzle there is a low pressure or you could say a, va a vacuum be uh, above the water and uh, the, the vacuum above the water just like when you're on the, on the Mount Everest it will lower uh, the boiling point of water, it will boil easily and easily uh, boiling water means evaporating water but then of course there's always a selection uh, which mo water molecules will evaporate and which won't well the, the quickest water molecules will of course evaporate the first because they can escape the water that's the red ones and the slower ones, the colder ones have to remain in the fluid because they cannot escape the attractive forces of the fluid uh, and that creates a cooling effect because there's basically a selection the hot uh, water is uh, taken out of it and the, the cold water is left behind that is the cooling effect that is caused by this uh, va vacuum that is induced by steam pressure and that's simply uh, the process it's very uh, simple uh, uh, well a method of cooling uh, in terms of hardware it's uh, it's also very uh, robust it has no moving parts uh, you only need a nozzle where you put the steam under pressure and then you have to uh, of course you can have an open system but that would be very wasteful and uh, you can also have a closed system and it has been used in trains for instance for cooling and uh, here is an example of, uh, of steam jet cooling combined with solar trough and solar concentrators uh, and it proves to be very eff efficient and of course it would be on a larger scale it would be even more efficient because of course if you make the solar troughs relatively expensive you'll never need fuel again to cool and especially in hot places like Las, like Las Vegas <coughs> this seems to me an excellent way of cooling you can cool to zero degrees because that's where water freezes but of course if you use another uh, uh, liquid with a lower uh, freezing point uh, then of course you could cool to lower temperatures uh, as well and you can have uh, let's say cascaded uh, systems if you want to know more uh, or you want to know more about concentrated solar power uh, become a member of building csp.ning.com or go to solarbowl.org where we have uh, the cheapest option for concentrated solar power that means under 20,000 uh, US dollars for a high capacity system. Thanks for listening.